Okay, so today, although it is early in the morning, I am going to DJ a benefit event for cystic fibrosis. Problem is, is that I was supposed to be taking this weekend off. I actually have kids, I have a kids dance competition. So I am, uh, I'm in Long Beach. But this event is in, is at Griffith Park, all the way downtown, downtown LA. It's Saturday morning, it's Cinco de Mayo. It's early. <laughs> I don't know if I told you this before. I, in fact, I have. I actually can't drink coffee. This is a caffeine-free coffee. It works. It makes me believe I'm drinking coffee, even though I'm not. It doesn't actually do anything for me. <laughs> so, but it makes me believe, and that's all that really matters. The truth is, I don't even make any money off of these things. This is all pretty much done for free. But it helps people, and uh, it helps the people that are trying to raise money actually raise the money. Instead of spending it all on the DJ, they can spend it on things that actually matter. So, um, so I'm not saying this is for everybody. Not everybody should go out and just try to do things for free and, you know, just because. But for me, um, for me, it just kind of gives me a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more karma, I guess. It is, uh, it is, like I said before, Cinco de Mayo. It is literally Cinco de Mayo. It has been, a, it's about, well, it's about 60 degrees right now, but it's gonna be about 85 degrees today. So uh, it's gonna be really, really nice. Um, the kids have dance right now, which I am missing because I'm doing this, I'm doing this thing. The, the kids don't have any more dance till tomorrow. So today we're just gonna hang out by the pool, get some drinks, get some margaritas, get some Cadillacs and, uh, have a good time. Oh, by the way, I'm now using the Panasonic G9, and uh, so far, I um, so far I love it. Uh, I'm using the face recognition on it. I've just been using that for for the vlogging so far. So we'll see how much um, how much pulsing and weird stuff it starts to do um, as I as I work with it today. There are way too many areas. Way too many areas at Griffith Park. I've been driving around for about 10 minutes now just looking for this stupid place. But I'm finally here, so let's get this out. Let's get this unloaded and get set up. So there is a uh, divided community of people that are all either diehard turntable people or diehard controller people. I don't, I don't know if there's a lot of diehard controller people, but there are definitely diehard turntable people that for some reason will not use a controller no matter what. They'll sit there and they'll say, I don't need a controller. I'm a turntable. Controllers are for suckers. And uh, then they come to a place like this, which is pretty much just a benefit they don't expect turntablism or you spinning through records they just want good music so the, so the people can do their run walks so in this case um why would you bring turntables to something that you're really not going to be doing a lot of stuff you're doing more mic work than you are uh turntablism so i bring a controller for these types of things because it's just silly to me to try to lug all this stuff through this grass all the way to the end over there I have, you know, three three flight cases, and I'm doing all this stuff for what? For what? Just to say I'm a turntablist and to say I look good doing it? That's just silly. You guys got to be smarter. Work smarter, not harder. That's what I say. That's what you should say.
Look, all I'm saying... All I'm saying is that there's a time and place for everything. There's no reason to work harder than you need to to get the job done. I'm still gonna get the job done using this controller. I'm still gonna get the job done if I was just playing it through my computer. I'm gonna get the job done because I'm a DJ and I know what I'm doing, not because of the equipment that I use. So we need to get out of this idea that if you don't use turntables, you're not a DJ. You're a D you are a DJ. And I use my turntables when it's necessary. So um, I'm gonna get set up here. My stuff is dusty. That means I've been out working. I gotta clean these when I get back. Okay, also like I was saying here, on my last video, I have the USB going into this USB-C right here. And then uh, basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it over here. And now I just plug this. Right into the port. No adapters, no mess, no fuss. I got my uh, script. Um, anytime you do these types of um, benefits, they always pre write a script because they don't trust that the DJ knows what they're doing. Uh, even though I've actually done this thing probably for the past three years, so the script is literally like, I know like the back of my hand, but um, they still have a script for me every time. I am over 21. What you got there? Oh, uh, yes, everybody's getting days, so they know that they're part of the event. Okay, I would hope I'm part of the event. So this is my script. A parade of teams. Is everyone ready? Uh, and then it says, wait for a loud yes. Yes! 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 All right then, let's get going. <laughs> Uh, wow. There's a lot of bugs here today. We're sitting in a big grass field and there's nothing but gnats everywhere. So the kind of stuff that I deal with every time I do an event like this are pretty consistent. One, the music is too loud. <laughs> I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you. I'll give you a little um, crash course in speaker placement and the way sound works is the music that you hear if you're next to a speaker is not the same music that people hear 200 feet away. If it's too loud for you because you're by the speaker, well, it's supposed to be too loud because it's not supposed to actually hit the maximum benefit of speakers, of the frequencies until about 50 to 100 feet. So if you ever think why, why is the DJ playing so loud? It's because he's not just playing for himself. He's playing for the entire venue. And let me look, let me show you. So my sound has to reach not only where I am, but it's got to reach all the way to where that budget truck is. So I have to be able to put a lot of sound close to me so it gets to them properly. So if you're by the speaker, it's gonna be louder. There's no way around that. I can't, I can't get over that. There's no special magic way to make the speakers quieter by the DJ booth and louder in the back. It doesn't work that way. That's not how sound works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome out to the LA Great Strides Walk. Thank you guys for all being a part of this. A couple of housekeeping tips. Please make your way over to the registration booth if you have not done so. Also, if you guys are hungry, there is a Western Bagel and Kind Bars booth over here close to the, uh, the DJ. There's also uh, coffee at the CF Care Forward booth. So make sure you head on over there, get some food, get some beverages, and of course, don't forget to register. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for just one moment, as you can see here towards the DJ booth, we have a dance floor. We don't normally have dance floors at these events, but we have one today 
because we have a very special presentation. The group Folklorico of UCLA is going to be performing for this fantastic Cinco de Mayo. So how about a round of applause before they begin? up here. It is now about 1045. They're on their walk. They're doing their loop and they're going to come back and uh, then we're going to give out the awards and then I'm going to be out of here. Actually a really cool event this time. Not this time, pretty much every time, but because it was Sickle de Mayo, because uh, there were just, there's so many var uh, varieties of things happening with the mariachi dance group and the, and the stormtroopers. And it just kind of created a cool, cool element this time. And uh, I hope that they keep trying to bring these new things into each event because it just adds to the, it adds to the dynamics of the event, makes it fun, makes people want to come back and do it again. So uh, that's going to be it for me this time. I have to break down, then I got to rush back over to Long Beach to uh, spend some time with my kids. So uh, guys, uh, I might do some more video after this. If I don't, I'll see you next time. If I do, enjoy. All right, y'all. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.